Faisal, one principle that you always live by. Nothing is foreign. Even opposites come together. And that's a principle of Gandhi's. Because his vision of non-violence was only possible since he thought that it was actually intimate with violence. The only way in which violence can become non-violence can be converted into its opposite is if it shares something with it. Uh, the problem with this, of course, is that the reverse movement is also possible, that non-violence can also become violence. And that, in my estimation, is the problem that Gandhi dealt with throughout his career. So is Gandhi also the inspiration of your life? I don't know if he's the inspiration of my life. Uh, he was very important for my father. But I think that he's increasingly important for the lives of others and for many people's lives today because it becomes visible to us now uh, that this man was not simply an antiquated figure of the 1920s, 30s and 40s, that he was actually speaking about issues like technology, the environment and war, which is always with us, in a way that have suddenly become more meaningful to us than they were even in his own time. Very well said. I would like to know about one value that you would like to integrate in today's youth. I think, you know, when people think of someone like Gandhi, if I may stick with him, they always think of ahimsa, non-violence, which is of course an important value, but you cannot exercise it without swaraj, without self-rule. Um, and I think that is something that we need to reflect upon. And for someone like Gandhi, swaraj was not simply Indians being free to rule themselves. It was actually about each individual being capable of being free as an individual and being in control of themselves. That's the only thing that made collective Swaraj possible. And he always said that Swaraj is in the palm of your hands. All you need to do is see it there and you can close your palm and you have it with you. You don't need to wait 50 years for it. Like the British used to say, you must wait hundreds of years for it. It's with you immediately. Once you reclaim control over your own life, you can reclaim control over your society. Very well said. Thank you very much for the inspirational words. Thanks a lot.